And we're back. Welcome to the vlog. I'm Ken. I keep forgetting to introduce myself sometimes because it could be their very first time on this channel and have no idea what my name is, although it's in the title of the vlog, so maybe I don't have to do that. I'm just rambling. Anyway, I just dropped Ben off at Wendy's. He's working like a five hour shift today, so that's gonna be his longest shift so far. Last night he worked his first Friday, which is a little more entertaining than normal days because they have, if you're following me on my Instagram, uh, I took a picture of a really nice Chevrolet. I'm not sure what year or what kind of car it is off the top of my head, uh, but it was a gorgeous car. So there's a there's a uh, car group called the Backstreet or Back Alley Rollers or something, and they uh, come to Wendy's every single Friday and Tuesday, and then just kind of hang out and uh, show off their cars and eat Wendy's food, which is kind of cool. So it's a little more lively on a Friday night. Anyway, so I'm heading uh, up to the bank because I got an email. I think I was telling you yesterday that Google used to pay me by check, and which was all great and awesomeness, uh, but now they've, they're abolishing paper, uh, environmentally friendly, and f environmentally friendly and all. And But the problem is I filled out their form on the Google site and there's a problem. So now I have to go to my bank to find out what the problem is. I phoned them first and he said they're, they're missing two numbers. One's called a SWIFT number and uh, or a code and the other one's called a, a routing number. So you can't move money from one bank account to another bank account uh, that's in a different country without those two other numbers. But on the Google site, it doesn't ask for any of that information. It only asks for your, the, like the typical stuff that they would need to send to another person in uh, uh, the United States. So I'm not sure why Google doesn't have the proper forms on there. It's really fr frustrating. If I don't have this resolved by the 21st of this month, then I'm not gonna get paid and I need the money that I'm making this month well, I guess last month, I already made the money, it's sitting and getting ready to be sent to me on the, on the last day of the month. And if I don't figure this all out in the next couple of days, I'm screwed. I'm gonna have to borrow money from my line of credit to get me through the next month. And we're supposed to be going to, or we are going to Costa Rica. I always call it Costa Rica. I don't know why. I'm such a noob. Well, I was just at the bank and I looked next door where Big Mama's soul food used to be and it was all being renovated and torn out and all that stuff. And I'm like, oh my gosh, Dave lost his business. And uh, then I was down at, if you were following me on my Twitter and, and Instagram once again, I was down at Wendy's picking up Ben when Dave was in there. And I'm like, I heard, I thought your business closed down. He's like, no man, I'm just around the corner. And so he's actually, uh, I'm not even sure what road this is but it's just at the four corners of Bradford so Holland Street east and west by I don't know what the street uh, so he's just right here it's just go do a wide shot so right there is the four corners in Bradford and he's just down this I guess this is south so that's straight north uh, this is I guess 88 Holland Street East so if you're in the area check out uh, Big Mama Soul Food so I just went back inside I'm like well, while I'm here I might as well grab a patty and uh, just do like I'm gonna I'm gonna try actually do this on every single vlog just have something to eat whether it's lunch breakfast dinner and just share that with you because most people follow me on my main channel because of food, so why not drag a little bit over this to, over to this channel? So anyway, I went back in just to ask Dave. Uh, I was just gonna, I wanted to buy a uh, Jamaican patty, and also ask him what the address is. So it's 19 Simcoe Street in Bradford, and I pretty much nar narrowed it down. Anyway, so I thought I'd grab a patty while I'm in there, and he gave it to me for free. The guy's awesome. He understands YouTube and how it works. And I give honest opinions on what I'm eating. So, let's give this a shot. It is hot. Ask him for a spicy one. Mmm. <laughs> so, Jamaican patty. Looks very awesomeness. Uh, tasty beef Jamaican patties. He doesn't make these here, he buys them, and most of these places do, uh, unless you actually find, unless you find the actual company. There are, like, bakeries and stuff that just do patties because they're so popular in uh, what we used to call roach trucks, which are the uh, the catering trucks that go around to the business at lunchtime and breaks. 
Mm. I'm just gonna turn the car on, man. It is flipping hot. There we go. Let's turn the fan down a bit. Then we don't have to worry about it. All right, so, um, Jamaican patties are all about the uh, obviously inf the filling inside and how spicy and meaty it is and just the overall texture and taste and then the outside the pastry has to be f nice and fluffy and flaky whoa no copyright and uh, this this one actually was is, was pretty good uh, one of the places that Carol and I go to up in in, in Barry uh, she likes stopping in there because we're up in Barry a lot. So I'm going to tell her to drop by Dave's here and try one of their patties. I'm thinking this is uh, along the same lines, possibly just a little bit better. So I totally recommend it. This is a total, I would recommend this patty if you're in the area, check it out. Three things I want to talk about from yesterday's vlog. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody for sharing the fact that uh, what their ice cream trucks give them and don't give them. And you know, even Rosh from uh, India says they don't have any ice cream trucks in India, and uh, which is kind of expected, I would think. Um, and then I also like to address the fact that a lot of you guys will help me out and respond to other. Uh, questions so you know when somebody says okay oh, what kind of computer are you using if you see that question before I do and you respond to it I like totally thank you man that helps me out like greatly uh, I do see that you're you've answered somebody for me I usually try to give you guys a thumbs up when I see that you've responded to somebody for me because that's awesome I totally appreciate that so, so thank you very much one of the comments is from Lauren and she said what about the phone call uh, I'm getting a phone call on Tuesday afternoon so by the end possibly of Tuesday night, I'll let you know what it is. I'm, I'll, I guess I'll give you a kind of a hint. It's a possible, possible network situation. So I might actually be signing with a network. I need to know as much information about it as possible. After talking with Dame and Emmy and Chuck and talking about networks, uh, I think possibly at this point in time in my YouTube career, it's time to move into a network, and uh, there are a whole bunch of reasons why, and I'll explain them possibly in the near future with you. Just finished with the bank, and he gave me a couple other number of options to use that might work, so I'm gonna try the first combination that he gave me, and then I'm gonna move it to another combination, and hopefully that will work. Element Skate 640 asked, when did this whole food review thingy start? Uh, I think it was uh, either my Jolt Cola one where I just wanted to share with people that I, every mo every Monday morning I would buy a Jolt Cola and that would be my treat for the week. And uh, I just did it, that. I think that was the first one. It is possible that I did uh, Tim Horton's breakfast sandwich when it first came out. And I just wanted to share with people from around the world what I like to eat. And, uh, or at least share with friends and, and family that there's a new sandwich at Tim Hortons and from there it basically slowly slowly grew I didn't realize how much attention those videos were getting I really like doing the uh, uh, roller coaster reviews and for a while there I was doing a lot of the gaming thinking that was the way to go but uh, I'm loving the food reviews this I wish I had figured it out much earlier somebody asked where is this CRV or is the first time they've seen the CRV in a while uh, we technically bought that uh, to replace the van and my wife always drove the van and I always drove the car because usually the van is more expensive to drive around uh, and gas and I was always driving the Echo and then when we got rid of the Echo and got this car uh, you know the van started to fall apart so we you know I could drive it once in a while here and there if we had to go anywhere special we'd take the car uh, and leave the van at home uh, so and then when the van finally died that's when we bought the CRV so my wife gets the CRV so in the next little while as my YouTube channel starts growing even more ladies and gentlemen we will definitely let's see if we can back in while we're while vlogging I think we can do it. I got a backup camera. I've got my mirrors. Uh oh, killed the dog. 
So once my YouTube channel starts growing even more, then I will be getting a new car too. This, this car is good, I like it. Uh, we just discovered over time how how much we don't really enjoy stick shift in just a normal regular car. We, we got it because we were thinking uh, that it'd be cheaper on gas, but it's not really, doesn't really, we don't feel the full effects of that. This car also, we didn't, when we bought it, we didn't know it was the upgraded version of the engine. So it actually isn't as efficient as we thought it was going to be. But the deal for this car was just so incredible that we couldn't pass it up. So we're spending a bit more on gas on this car. Scott Daniels asked a question, how do you make money off YouTube? He wants me to explain it to him. Uh, obviously, first you need to have a YouTube account hooked up to a Google Plus account, or I'm not sure if it's a page or a profile. That's, that's where I got messed up. Um, then you have to start an AdSense account. And all this stuff, I think you have to be over 18. Uh, so with Ben, basically his channel is my channel. So I started it for him and I get paid and then I pay him. So that's how that arrangement happened. I'm pretty sure that's how that works. You have to be over a certain age to make money off YouTube. But you start an AdSense account and then uh, AdSense will either direct deposit uh, straight into your bank account. Uh, and basically you make content and when lots of people watch your content, then the ads that are placed against your content, that's how you get paid through that. And that's pretty much it. And you can also get, you know, people sending you stuff, people paying you to review stuff. There's all kinds of ways to make money off YouTube. Hope that answers your question, Scott. Just picked Ben up from Wendy's. How was your day at Wendy's, Ben? Uh, good. I like Wendy's. <laughs> I don't know how to word it. Yeah, you, you, well, it's yeah. just an average day at work. And you, you actually have a lot of really good people working with you, don't you? Yeah, I can like I know a lot of people hate their like not people at my work, but I mean like people at different workplaces hate their managers, and some people just don't want to work at all. But the managers are great. They're all super friendly, and they're do they're, they're runners for us as well. So we can like we can, I can go ask my manager to get me a, a medium fry if I need it, and. All the people there are also really nice, so. Yeah, every time I go in there, everybody's smiling and, and they're all having fun. And But today was your longest shift you've worked so far. Yeah. You've only been there for like two weeks, but last night was his first Friday night, which is supposed to be a little more colorful. I think we talked about that. Yeah. And then uh, today was his longest shift and they actually phoned just before we left to come to see if you could work longer because you're only supposed to work from one till five, I think, and they asked you to work till six because I guess they had a scheduling problem. Anyway, I'm glad you had a good day. And of course, every time I go in there, <laughs> I have to buy something. And we also got a poutine from my wife because she loves the poutine. We also, but we forgot to ask for no salt on it. If you order a salt from, I mean a salt, a poutine from Wendy's, say no salt on the fries because the cheese curds and the gravy have salt in them and it makes it all good. And we can do that. Of course. Well, I am back home now. Just dropped off the poutine for Carol. I saw I'd show you, cut the grass so it looks all nice and trimmed. Yeah, man. Um, I forgot to tell you also last night, I went for a bike ride just on the mountain bike. And I just went up and down a few streets and down that way and I took a picture, uh, which I totally forgot to actually put up on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. So I'll put that up as soon as I finished vlogging. Uh, my vlog is gonna be a little bit long today, so I hope you didn't mind. I had lots to say. I actually took out one big chunk that I didn't like. Uh, I won't get into it. So. Uh, Thanks for watching Ken's Vlogs, and I hope you are having an amazing Saturday. And uh, I'm not sure if I conjured up a question or not, but uh, I'll just let it go this time. <laughs> I like asking you guys questions. Anyway, thanks for watching, and we're up almost at 2,500 subscribers on this channel, which is fantastic. So thanks for all your support, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.